guys, it's John and Morgan with Long Haul Lifesavers, and today... It's we Christmas! <laughs> Super excited. It's not really Christmas, but we are going to do the Christmas decorations today. Because it's cold enough, and we are having a lazy day. We're in jammies, and we're going to make the house all... Pretty and sparkly. Yeah. So what we are going to do is we're going to get rid of these fall decorations and uh, put up the Christmas tree and our garland and all that stuff. Couple pro tips before we get there. When you're in a house, you can have like 15 totes of Christmas decorations and lights, and we did. We had them in the attic and in the yeah. basement and in every closet. And but living fun. in an RV, you have to condense and prioritize everything. So we have gotten it down to one tote. But another pro tip, when you're hanging things, we like to use the command uh, hooks yep. with the metal hooks. Uh, we found that the plastic ones that are all plastic don't really hold up very well. Yeah. Um, well, so the metal we hooks things. are kind of on a hinge too. So when you're hanging something that's bulky or something like garland, you're able to kind of maneuver it around the garland a little bit better than you are with the plastic regular command hooks. They are our best friend. Tis the season for the command hooks. <laughs> Another tip that we like to tell everyone, uh, if you have more than one tote, make sure you label the outside of your box Christmas, one of two totes or however many totes you have so that way when you because a year goes by you start to forget when you start pulling you know decor out you know how many totes you need to grab over the years we have dwindled i think when we our first christmas in the rv we had three totes and we've dwindled it we also had a toy hauler so we had more room for a storage true that so, anyway right. let's get to it time to decorate <laughs> So another tip for Christmas in an RV is all of your ornaments and everything. If you buy shatterproof ones, that way when you pack them away for the year and they're bouncing down the road, nothing breaks. The only two that John and I keep that are not shatterproof were actually a gift to us. We have kind of a sentimental story behind uh, fortune cookies. So we've got our matching fortune cookies that we put out every year. This brings us good luck. Where are they from? They are from John's dad and stepmom. So thank you. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and if you have any questions, drop them in the comment section. We love hearing from you guys.